Hello everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial. And today we will design this beautiful presentation slide. It's full of colors and background animations and we have used video as well. So please subscribe to our channel and join the membership to support us. So let's begin with the tutorial. The very first step is to uh, you know insert this background rectangular layer and this is the layer that I have selected and after that just duplicate this layer like this and give it a different color so that we can easily select it and now we have these two layers and make sure there is no outline now insert this rounded rectangle and place it like this move this yellow dot to make it less rounded now select both these shapes and subtract and you will get a small window like this now we will fill gradient color on this uh, layer and here you can be creative and fill your own color scheme but I am going with the blue color scheme dark blue gradient So I'm using three gradient color stops you can use even four as well so it tot it's totally up to you how you want to create the gradient and you can pick different colors from this standard menu also you can play with the direction now insert this small circle here and remove its outline and we will fill gradient color but the gradient type will be radial and here we are creating a circular 3d circular effect and we will use the gradient stops to create a beautiful 3d effect on this circle and let's place it here and we're gonna animate it later and duplicate this circle and place it here slightly reduce its size and you can make it a bit brighter I think we have to make it a bit brighter here so that it looks more vibrant now let's add the text for this slide so I am going to fill dummy text here but you can of course change it so you can always you know focus on text styling and applying different text or font size for different layers of the text for example for title you can keep a bigger font then for subheading you can use a slightly smaller font for description you can use tiny font so that's how you can play with the font sizes similarly you can be selective for colors so we have used our own name in the you know subheading creative in a business powerpoint so if you really like this design so please hit the like button and meanwhile you can press on the subscribe button as well this will really motivate us and now you can align it alignment is very important in powerpoint so make sure you focus focus on the alignment then go to shapes and we will pick this shape here and insert this shape and you have to adjust it here now bring this 3d circle to uh, to the front and then align this circular shape and then fill gradient color remove its outline and play with the gradient type and style so I have tried 
path gradient but i think linear will be the best option here then you can change the gradient angles so we want to keep this vibrant part behind this 3d circle so that's the idea slightly increase its size and now you can place it like this and go to insert then you can add some description here as well or you can use some bullet points or some numbers anything you want and i have used monsterat font here which is a very common font that I use in most of my presentation slides because it looks beautiful, very corporate. But of course, you can try different fonts and you can do that by going to Google Fonts and there you can try and test different fonts and pick the one you like. And you can add description here like this. Make sure the description is small, no one wants to read too much of text. So till now the slide is looking fine and everything is at its place. Now you have to insert a video here and this is the video that we have downloaded from pexels.com and you can try different color schemes here so this will change the overall color tone and here you can use this corrections tab to make it more saturated so you can try different options now we want to start it with previous because we want it to automatically start in the slideshow mode then we have to go to the effects option uh, no this is not the right option here under the animation tab now right click effect options yep go to timings and we have to repeat it until the end of the slide so once the video will finish playing it will start again now the layer which is sandwiched between this top layer and the video we have to do something with it i thought we will add some color overlay over this layer so i'm just trying that if it will not look good then we will remove this layer So this layer is not looking as expected so I think we should remove it yep and this is how it looks much much better and more beautiful so now let's add some text for this window and here you can add uh, some important component of your slide the most important content which you want to highlight uh, it can be your number some keyword some small statement or even some quote that you want to highlight here some progress so this is the place and apply some shadow to the text so that it becomes more visible always remember when we apply shadow on a text it its visibility improves and add some you know supporting text as well so here we have written creative Venus but of course it can be anything like 75% growth or business performance or targets achieved anything so till now it's looking really beautiful and you can see here but 
when we will add some animation on these 3d circles and the background layers and when we will and we will you know play with the transparency level then it will look more beautiful and for that we have to start with the animation so let's begin with this circle but before that let's use this shape duplicate it increase its size and place it towards the top as well because the top part is looking a bit empty and it needs something so that the overall design looks much more balanced and you have to move this yeah circle behind the text and you can use this selection pane for that and if we view it on the slideshow mode and you can see here it is now looking more beautiful and the missing part is animations so we will apply motion path animation on this 3d circle and i think the left animation will look fine i'm just thinking that what else we can use but left is fine move this dot to the left and move this circle to the right now move this dot to the left we have to keep the animation or the path minimal now select the animation start with previous increase the duration we want it to be very slow go to the effects option click on auto reverse timing apply repeat effect until end of the slide press ok and the animation will work in the loops it will keep on animating until you end the slideshow mode so this is how it will look so we will apply the same animation on this circle but i think we will we should keep the motion path from top to bottom like this use the down option start with previous increase the duration go to effect options auto reverse timing repeat it until the end of the slide and now you can see both the circles are animating on their paths Uh, make sure there is no outline the circles are looking slightly dull i think we have to play with the colors of this these circles currently these are too dark i'm just trying different things here if we play with the transparency here I don't think it will float the boat we have to make these circles more vibrant let's first apply the animation on this circle as well then we will see what we have to do with this with those 3d circles we have applied the down animation on this circle as well slightly move it up because we want to keep it minimal you have to start with the previous increase the duration like four to six seconds or even you can go up to seven seconds click on auto reverse repeat it until end of the slide and also we have increased the transparency of this layer so that you can see the background the video is playing in the background and you can see it through this layer Place this circle here because it was looking a bit bigger mm -hmm. 
overall the slide looks really beautiful and very fluid kind of animation I think we have to do something with the colors here yeah let's move these gradient stops and now these circles look much better so this vibrance was missing before yep now the design looks now the design looks much much better if you see this is more fluid and um, it also looks corporate and this is really an attention grabbing design i hope you will like it let's add some vibrance on this circle as well we have just changed the angle and moved the gradient stops to the left a bit and yeah so if you like this design please subscribe to our channel like this video share this video join the membership and do not forget to download this beautiful slide from the G drive link provided in the video description and keep watching other videos as well so we will see you guys in our next video till then enjoy bye bye